little bit of a behind the scenes. We've got Bedros Cooley in here. They just put together this amazing headquarters uh, for their for Fit Body Bootcamp and the Cooling and Consulting. There it is, the yeah. Cooling and Consulting. Yeah. So you'll see the, the uh, amazing detail that's gone into creating this uh, headquarters. Um, and I think it says a little bit about who Bedros is and what he's doing in his business, that attention to detail. By the way, is that your Corvette? That is not my Corvette. I thought that was your race car. No, no, no. <laughs> Jamie, do you know whose Corvette that is? That's a sweet vet. Yeah. It doesn't matter what. It's just, just, just a year ago, we were in a, actually where you and I first met. Right. We were about two miles up the road uh, yeah. with our 20 team members. We're growing so quickly. We've been there for nine years. And I realized I need a building that represents what my brand, what Fit Body Bootcamp is all about. Two-time Inc. 5000 company, uh, entrepreneurs, uh, 15 fastest growing franchise, yet we were operating out of what looked like a little sweatshop. And so when our franchisees and my coaching clients would come, it wasn't representative of what they saw of me from stage, on social media, etc. So when this building came up for sale, um, I bought it. I bought it. So we spent just over three million on the building and over a million on the renovation. So what you're really seeing here is our lobby. And since since it is both Fit Body Bootcamp and a coaching brand, we thought it'd be cool to have a Fit Body Bootcamp custom wall and and of course the, the elevator that's been wrapped. The guy that wrapped my truck was like, hey, you know, for two hundred bucks more I can wrap your elevator and your logo. Oh yeah, that's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, yeah. 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 So come on this way. I'll show you what we're doing here. This here is our, our learning center, and uh, pre previous to having this building, uh, in fact, I remember talking to you about it, you know, I've got three different mastermind groups. Each right. mastermind group meets three times a year, and we would meet up in Las Vegas, Miami, uh, San Diego, and it cost about sixty to $80,000 to run one of my masterminds when we're doing at a at a hotel, right? right? You know, banquet hall, food, beverages, cocktails, dinners, etc. And, so I and we run all of our masterminds in here, so we can set it up classroom style, theater style, um, U-shaped for mastermind. Right. The student comes down, and, and everything we did was designed to create the effect. Like, there's two giant metal pillars here, uh, support pillars, that are part of the structure. And I was like, you know what? It looks too industrial. So we had a custom company come out, wrap it in leather, and we put bookshelves in and created this awesome scenery with the bar and everything. Yeah, they framed it in amazing. Uh -huh. Turned it into a design piece instead of a yeah. sort. Yeah, instead of like a structural piece. But how people perceive you, I'm a big believer in. My, dad, my dad's a tailor, and so when we, we came to this country, he, he would look at someone who had a nice watch, but then he would see that their pants were way too long and they never got it hemmed, and he would tell that that guy doesn't wear suits often. He's not polished. Right. He might be wealthy, but, but no he's not attention polished. Attention to detail. Yes. Or, yeah. So I've always caught that eye, right? I've, I've always had that eye. And to me, when you're at a hotel and the air conditioner turns on and it's rattling or it doesn't work like it's supposed to or they don't have the exact drinks. Even if you look at our fridge right now, every label on the Fit Aid, on the Zevia, on the Arrowhead water is facing the same way. Like, that's obviously becomes a cultural thing too, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, that, and it has to start at the top. Um, how, do you, how quickly do you identify whether or not people get that? Um, within the first 30 days, we do a good job indoctrinating him with that. In fact, we had one guy quit after lunch on his first day. So he came into the indoctrination. Our interview process, by the way, is they interview four times with us. They start off with the department lead and work their way up to HR and then to the two Veeps, uh, Joan and Sean, who you met, and then finally with me. So by the time they get to me, I let him know, I'm probably a horrible person to work with, I have high expectations, you're really not gonna like it, I'm very type A, I'm, right. um, I'm critical, uh, but man, we have a lot of fun, you're gonna have a great time, but you really have to meet high expectations, so we right. do it where they don't wanna be here. If they still wanna be here, then they go through two days of indoctrination with us. Uh, two of our team members run our, I guess, HQ University. Right. And they talk about why how you do everything is how you do anything, or how you do anything is how you do everything, matters. Why yeah. the attention to detail matters. Why being a control freak matters. Why we're relentless and we never take no for an answer. You know, we could probably look online and get our own set designers, but we, we're hiring set designers as you saw from Hollywood, right? right? Um, actually, those, that was Kevin Hart's set designer. Okay. Yeah, and so like, and I'll show you my filming studio that we're building yeah. out, and everything has to be to that level because I plan on having celebrities in here. Like yeah. I've had Super Bowl champions in here, Thought leaders, New York Times best-selling authors, um, celebrities of uh, celebrities from different countries. We've had 
we've had people who are uh, you know, owners of billion dollar businesses, right? And they walk through like, holy cow, my HQ doesn't look like this. I need to step it up. Yeah. Randall Pitch from LiveFit, right? Right. A big apparel brand. Brought his whole team out here to go, you know, we're, we're due for a new headquarters and this is how I want it to look. And so to me, everybody steps it up when you have a great place like this. So culture starts at the top and then we set the expectations high with the two-day university. If at that point after that, they're like, hey, look, it's still, it's still not for me, great, you can leave. Yeah. But in the first 30 days, we know if they're gonna sink or swim. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so this is our learning center. Um, the kitchen that feeds the learning center, we get up to 70 people in that learning center. This is the kitchen that feeds the learning center. And uh, we have a catering company come out and do all that stuff. Hello, Chelsea. Hello. Of course, uh, this is our library. This is, I, I always say that if, if Jay-Z was to get lost in Chino Hills, right. and then he was gonna come and hang out somewhere, he'd be in this room. <laughs> yeah. And so from the walls, to the bookshelves, to the leather crocodile skin on the walls, to the smell, everything about it has been designed to create comfort and this old school library feel. So I, I noticed the smell but I didn't realize it was intentional. Intentional, yeah. Same with the lobby, which is a different smell. The two lobbies have the same smell. The library and my office have yeah. the same smell. So we're gonna, I'm gonna dive into this and when we do like the more sit down sure. interview, but like one of the things that's always fascinating to me is you're, you're here now, but you started. And when you started, were you paying attention to smell? Were you paying attention no. to wallpaper? No. Right? And so, cause there's always that bridge that when someone hits a certain level of success, it's hard for the people at the beginning to connect yeah. because they, they're like, well, I can't, I'm not at that point. Right. So how do you keep that bridge from people just getting started to where you are? If that makes sense. When someone's just getting started, I tell them and they go, I want to build a brand like you have. Yeah. I mean, how you build a brand, you don't hire a branding company, a, uh, a media company. You build a brand by making a sale and then delivering the unicorn that you promised and then make the second sale, deliver the second unicorn, third sale. And then at some point you have hundreds of locations or you've sold thousands of your thing where it's kind of created a brand of its own, created a culture. So if it's sales and then the outcome or the results that your product or franchise or business is going to deliver and then brand. Got it. Right. And so when I said for nine years, I wish we can go back in time yeah. snap and take it to take our camera guy to the sweatshop. I'm going to find some old pictures and we'll put them, we'll edit them in yeah. to kind of show them. Yeah. Because we were, we, when we, our first Inc. 5000 ranking, we were out of the old place. Right. And that place did not look like an Inc. 5000 business. No. Right. This place does. And so, you know, a lot of people will try and spend so much time on building the look. Right. It's like, hey, don't pose. Do it because you can afford it. Right. You know, I can afford a million dollar build out now. Yeah. I couldn't back then. Right. Back then it was sell. And I was the marketing guy. I was the selling guy. I was the servicing guy. Right. You know? So at the beginning it's sales and results. That's it. And then you can go to the branding and the, and the bigger play. At the beginning your brand is doing what you say you're going to do and getting yeah. results. Yeah. yeah. If you're going to deliver a unicorn or you know, sell a unicorn, don't, don't deliver a donkey. Right. Because we see that way too often, right? Yeah, absolutely. Cool. All right. So we'll uh, go back out this way. Awesome. side of the building but we've got our restrooms here for our uh, coaching clients and we even run our fit body bootcamp universities here so when new fit body owners get on board yeah they'll come out here for a four-day university that really creates an awesome environment yeah. Yeah, exactly. uh, so this is our filming studio that's being built out there's going to be excuse the whole lineup screen you can create a drywall wall desk. It looks like metal, but it's not going to be something that. Okay, it's probably lighter. Okay, so you can keep it for a year. Nice. Right now, our film crew is a team of four. They come to my office or our home. It says, yeah. Yeah, and it's like for four days, we're at our home with lights and camera. My kids and I are trying to walk around. Right. So, you know what? We'll just put the kitchen out here. So, yeah, in this one room, we'll have that backdrop. My yeah, scene, and awesome. then my wife's scene. So that kind so we'll of gives you the feel yeah. for that. Very cool. Right? That's yeah, we built the lighting right into it. Nice. This yeah. side over here, we, um, they have a very big business on it. Yeah. And it's a lot of the After you. I, uh, I 
absolutely love the wrap and that your. Uh, I mean, I love your logo. How long ago did you do the logo? Because that's <laughs> relatively recent, right? Dude, I didn't have a logo for years, right? Yeah. Because I come from the direct response marketing world. Like the only thing that matters is sales and service. Right. To me. And um, our, our Fit by the Bootcamp brand manager, he, I guess he was bored one day and he's like trying on his sketch pad, and he was done and he sent Joan the logo. Yeah. And uh, just like I gotta show you something, but you know our guy's afraid to show you. He doesn't know. He, he's gonna. He's probably gonna think like, why do you waste his time on it? And I see it. I'm like, holy crap! So he just did it in his free time, and he made me one hat, and the hat took off. Everywhere I go, people are like, I want that hat. Oh yeah. They didn't even know what it meant. I'm like, it's just my initials, right? Yeah. So the hat takes off before you know it. You know. Now we're making shirts and then we outfit everybody at Fitness Business Summit with the shirts, and so that's become a brand somehow. Yeah. That's great. So this here is going to be a big leather wall with the Fit by the Camp Light of Sign right in it. So next week, if you were to come, it's going to be a big tufted leather wall. Uh, everything that we've done here is, is designed to, inspiration has come from like uh, Restoration Hardware, which is a restaurant in Beverly Hills, uh, uh, Beauty in Essex in Las Vegas, uh, the Marriott Essex in Manhattan, you know, like the lobby. And so from crushed velvet to the ceiling to you know, a big screen that says, hey, welcome. Right. Everything has been modeled after lobbies and restaurants and high-end venues. That's funny. That's where I get some of my inspiration is like going, walking into a club lounge. And I'm like, yeah. this is how I picture yeah. our living room. I've got no crazy. No. You know, I, I, I got crazy. Yeah, like this. Model yeah. this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then from, from our house, we hired an interior designer. Right. And they're like, well, tell us what you want. I'm like, you're supposed to tell me what I want based on like what my lifestyle is. I, right. I don't know. You know? Yeah. I'm a knuckle dragging the end. all that. <laughs> yeah, and then of course they said they're going to cut out. You know, it's just pretty cool how an accidental logo from a year ago became a thing. Yeah, that's yeah, very cool. So in this side of our headquarters is our uh, content content team. So they're writing content, uh, show notes for my blog, um, articles for for different magazines that I'm in and published, etc. Uh, get a new podcasts, right? Um, yep. Got uh, Russell Brunson's 108 Proven Split Test Winners over Yes. There. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, these, these two are our graphic team, and they are amazing at just creating our Fit by the Bootcamp gear, hats, whatever. We're partnered with Toys for Tots. We're raising a million dollars this November for Toys for Tots and, and then taking over three Target stores and uh, buying a million dollars worth of toys for Toys for Tots Wow. Um, in, in December. Yeah. We used to not have a kitchen. All we had was a little stubby micro, uh, microwave and fridge combo. Right. So we built out a nice kitchen with the Starbucks type counter that I thought would be really nice. Uh, and then of course it ends with web design on this side of the building. Uh, a little conference room. And again, it never does like all labels pointing the same way. And it's that kind of attention to detail that we make sure that you know when a guest comes here. You know, you're being walked around, shown around, right? People notice. Yeah. And I don't. I think sometimes they don't notice until until it happens, and they may not have noticed that it was messy. Yeah. But they'll notice that it's right. Right. Exactly. So this is our video team. They hang out here, um, and they're always editing from Fit Body Bootcamp stuff. The, the guy who sits here, Ed, is Joan's husband. Oh, cool. And so he just kind of flies with me everywhere I go, which is nice. Uh, this is my office. Um, where I work from is that on that really? couch. I'm just used to working off a couch because I work from home for so long. But this whole scene is really good to shoot from. Mm -hmm. So, well, a lot of podcasts that we're being interviewed on. You know, this will be the backdrop. Yep. Uh, again, we took the same downstairs scene from the library, moved it upstairs. So we have two very contrasting backdrops depending on how the guys move their camera. Yeah. And where they position me. So this. Really worked out nice, and then my my clients were drunks, and they're, they're always sending me booze. So, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, 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 which is great, and I and I appreciate it. You sent me some beer, which is actually in there cooling off right now. Nice, yeah. nice. Yeah, and I appreciate that. <laughs> what I love about this place is I've got my own personal shower, oh, which I've awesome. never had. And as you can imagine, someone who works out, you come from the gym. I used to take a shower in the sink. Right. Now I can actually take a legit shower. And then, of course, the rest of the building is uh, Joan, our VP of operations, Sean, our VP of new business, and then HR, sales, and operations. Awesome. 
So everyone's always tracking their metrics. We, everyone's got their own KPIs, just like I've got my own KPIs. And so these guys right here make all the sales of my coaching programs, franchises, etc. Once they do that, they move them over to our operations team who will uh, service them immediately. And we sat them down close to each other so that they can hear what they're promising so that they can deliver it. When they were further apart, there was a gap. Mm -hmm. And so we got that and very quickly. And then these guys buy our traffic here for all of our franchisees. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, pretty simple set. But, uh, yeah, simple but elegant, right? Yes. Yeah. And then good old Connie over there keeping track of our numbers. <laughs> Oh, have you met my wife? No, I actually haven't. Hi, Larry. This is Diana. Diana. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. He went to dinner with me and Andrew in uh, oh, Boise. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. In fact, he was the one who took the picture of me and Andrew in the bubble soccer. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Very yeah. Yeah. I had a ton of fun getting to know your son. Andrew good was kid. such a good trip. Like, yeah. couldn't stop talking yeah. about that trip. It was a special. My trip. favorite was when he ordered the Jameson. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everywhere yeah, we go, great, we great sense of humor. Yeah. Good yeah. kid. Yeah. Yeah, I have kids similar ages, and so I, I was able to really appreciate how yeah. well mannered and Aww. mature he was. Well, that it always feels good yeah. to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and we went to dinner pretty late at night. Yeah. I remember after was, a pretty big day. Yeah, and he wasn't falling apart. I mean, or he'd set a world record. He'd cleared a room with SWAT teams, <laughs> right. and then he had uh, steak <laughs> with a couple of guys. <laughs> right, right, right. You know? And that made a perfect day. day for an eleven-year-old. Typical eleven-year-old yeah. day. What did you do when you were eleven? Because <laughs> right. I was like lining GI Joes on fire, yeah. you know, like in some apartment that I lived in. And, right. <laughs> and he's clearing a room with like a SWAT team, and yeah, yeah, setting right. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome. Yeah, we're fortunate. I like the contrast in here. It gets decidedly more feminine. Everyone, <laughs> says, everyone says the energy is the energy is special in here. It even smells different uh -huh. in here. Yeah. yeah, we're very smell driven in here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. Well, thanks, babe. Yes. Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. And uh, that's our stand-up workstation that no one uses, so I'm trying to get in contact with Starbucks, see if they can just put a barista there and <laughs> we can have our in-house in Starbucks. I'll come by sometime and use it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Having seen your old location and seeing your new location and knowing what your reasoning for it is, yeah. I think you've crushed it. Yeah. Um, it, it definitely sends off that, that vibe, right? Where Especially with this day of like filming everything on social media, I figured the whole building has to be filmable. Uh -huh. The lobby, the hallways, the kitchen. Yeah, it's a great perspective. Oh, I guess I, I can show you just for fun. I mean, even the bathrooms we took to the level, like, we wrapped you know, the walls in leather there, and you know, I just really wanted to make it a place where you feel like I've arrived. Yeah. Like, whether it's for my team or my clients, like, you know they're part of something special. And I think that's fantastic. If both of those things matter, right? Like, yeah. If, if, yeah. If, if, if sometimes the team, some companies build where the team doesn't feel the same love as the clients, and yeah. I think that creates a disconnect over time. Yeah, exactly. So this, the whole building used to be old school offices where every employee has an office with a uh -huh. door. Right. I was like, that's not going to be collaborative. That's going to be a whole weird environment. And so this is the last piece that we're finishing off. And um, you blew out the top half of the, mm -hmm. the walls. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're putting workstations so we can sit eight over here and then the team will sit there. And we needed another conference room. So we got another conference room. So I've noticed a lot of what your stuff is, is collaborative. You have lots of meeting rooms, lots of conference rooms, a lot of open space. Yeah. Um, did you get there naturally or like through evolution or has that just always been your style? When I didn't trust my team because I was an ineffective leader, mm -hmm. so I was the human bottleneck, it was me making the decisions and them executing. So nothing was collaborative. It was a top down. Uh, but now it's, guys, this is what I want. This is the vision I have. How can we get there? Can you show me the 10 ways we can skin this cat? And because I trust them, I listen. We pick the one that's going to work. Hopefully it does. And they execute. Before, it's like, okay, go do this. And then they would never execute. And three months would go by. It's like, I thought we were going to make that funnel for that one right. thing. Whatever happened. And didn't I delegate this? Right? Yeah. yeah. So now it, it's really team is everything. It's, it's, it's leadership, it's clarity of vision, and a high-performance team. If you have those three things, you can build an empire. So 
our goal with this is just to have a room full of media buyers for the other, so I got six other companies that I have equity in. Yeah. And so, and they're operating from many different places, but I want traffic is the number one thing, right? So I want traffic to be here in house instead of having different media buyers everywhere. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's what we're building out here. Very cool. Yes, sir. All right, so let's go to that library. And yeah. Do our thing. Do you want a water or anything, dude? I think they got some in there already. Okay. Yes, I, I, I think she got it. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hello. These, these are for us. Right? Yeah.